Namaste everybody. Today I am here to share you the recipe for making amala titaura. Usually amala means gooseberry. So I'm going to show you how do we store such gooseberry for future. In this picture you can see the gooseberry. But firstly, we'll take the gooseberry. Usually we call it amala here in Nepal. We know amala is good and rich in vitamin C. This is vitamin C it is good for our skin, for our hair, nails and many more things. People also say and it is also believed that one amala is equal to 10 oranges. So let's start how to make the titaura. I'll heat my pan and not the pan actually the cooker and I'm adding the amala here because we need to boil it so it's easier in pressure cooker but if you don't have pressure cooker you can use any utensil where you can boil and cover the lid and after boiling it for about 10 minutes the result is like this you can see the amala is properly boiled so I'm going to take it out <laughs> this is going to be a little bit trouble while taking it out because it's it's become very soft see you can see if it's boiled or not properly then you can use a fork and just try to pierce it in and this way we will take out its seeds one by one slowly well i enjoyed this part a lot because uh, usually amala when it's raw it's very hard to find the seeds but after it's boiled it easily comes out into its perfect sections we'll take out all the seeds from gooseberry usually Nepali people they like soury things especially girls and uh, we know that um, it's always better to preserve our food for future years and in the market there are like many chemicals added in the pickles and the taura so it's always safe and better when we make it at our home once we know the recipe now i am going to use the black salt we used to call it biri noon and I'm pull it all over the or let's say the good now I am also going to add some chili uh, powder and I'm going to spread it all over because we want to make a uh, taste like a little bit salty but spicy too and now we are going to give it a mix and since the gooseberry i bought is so sour i would like to give it a little bit sweeter taste that's why i am going to add some sugar but before i'm making sure that the salt and uh, red chili powder is equally applied in the gooseberries so just doing the mixing 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 now this uh, i have taken uh, a bit refined sugar because I don't want the bigger 
pieces of sugar come out so i'm just using a little bit refined but if you don't have it you can also use your regular sugar and spread it again this is a very simple recipe and like this can be used for many days we can consume it but we need to store it properly now we will put it under the sun because this is the safest and easiest way to dry things naturally without using any chemicals or heat so after drying it for around about a week the result will be this and you can store it in any airtight container and use it every day thank you for watching